okay there. I will be doing a self-portrait or uh, finishing a painting that I have started a long, long time ago. I found this sketch waiting in this glued pad. I had started this over a year ago, I think. I was meaning to use this bigger paper on something else, but I didn't want to take this painting off from the pad. So I would then need to be taping it down to a board whenever I then decide to finish it later. So I decided to start it now. I am using my Schminke watercolor palette. You can see a short video separately on more details of the palette and the colors in there. I am using this cobalt blue that is granulating, so there will be some granulation effects ov over the skin area, although I have mentioned that I don't like, like the granulation in skin. This time I decided to embrace it, giving a bit more texture. It's not meant to be pretty, pretty and smooth. It can be a bit gritty instead. I am using white blue or greenish hues at this point and then when I'm heading over to the hand areas I will be also adding some red so then there will be a bit better separation everything is not going to be the same color or hues as well. In this session I will be doing the base layers of the face and all the hands involved, a little bit of uh, details, shadow areas, fixing the lines, dark areas. But then for the part two, I think I will be then continuing on with the background and then I can see more better what changes I need to do still with the portrait. Most likely then if I do a darker background color, then I probably want to then also enhance the contrast in the portrait as well, create more stronger shadows. And then in the end I will be going through all the final details of the portrait. And I had an accident with the coffee cup, dipping my brush in there, of course. So I had to go clean my brush and ditch the coffee so I could continue then painting. of the arm and then I will be also doing a gradient of more grayish or purple color that then blends to the rest rest of the arms. I was thinking on whether I want to change the greenness of the left arm, but I think it kind of balances also with the rest of the hands, the green area, so I don't think I want to be cleaning out the greenness from there and then maybe having to add, add it elsewhere instead. area I will be most likely also cleaning out some of the harder lines and have them then in the end blend more with the background which will then most likely be darker shade than the rest rest of the portrait painting.
every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. The sitter is merely the accident, the occasion. It is not he who is revealed by the painter, it is rather the painter who, on the colored canvas, reveals himself. Oscar Wilde So he proposes that when an artist paints a portrait with genuine emotion, the artwork reveals more about the artist himself than the subject being depicted. You are not truly objective when you are painting a portrait or basically painting anything. Your feelings, experiences, your world for you affects your creations. It is how you have seen the target of your painting. Artists can express their own emotions and share, share their world view to others through self-portraits. And for me, self-portraits are about doing some self-reflection. I think most of the self-portraits I have thought of the idea has come through emotions, how I felt in a certain time and space. It might not be something that I'm feeling right now or today, or even the day after I came up with the idea, but then anyway it has stuck to me and then I wanted to finish that painting, like now I'm doing today for several, several days and weeks now, but the sketch initially was made over a year ago. And now <laughs> I decided to finish it. So let's see, let's see how, where this goes and what kind of emotional changes I might do there. Shall I leave it a bit more? blank, open for interpretation, what the person there is feeling, or bring more sadness into it. Have you ever painted a self-portrait? done some dig, dipping, di <laughs> digging of yourself or just wanting to showcase who you are, what you do, what's your profession or what are some beloved items that you have incorporating those into the painting or have you even done like some of the old masters has done that you are adding yourself somewhere into the painting as a person in the background only to be seen if you are looking very carefully. I actually have one idea that I guess I was also wanting to use the bigger paper for where I, where I have like maybe 10 or more people involved in the painting, just some random, random people, then I was <laughs> thinking that should I similarly add myself somewhere in there, hidden in plain sight. But then I get the feeling of the vanity, why am I there, does it bring anything new or more there, or is it just a little trick? <laughs> but let's see, it might be a fun one idea as well. I think I will wrap this up and let you watch 
watch the painting process to the end I'm just adding adding some final cleanup to the edges some shadow areas of course I still need to fix and make them stronger in the end as well but this is a work in progress so to be continued then with the part two background and then perhaps part three finishing touches <laughs> I mean one video finishing touches not not then <laughs> sped up and fixing times five along in the end but just focusing focusing on final details and thinking in advance then what do I want to enhance and improve Thanks for listening me and watching this far and I'll see you then in the next videos to come in this series or something else. Thank you.